As we continue now in preparation for the second annual Fiesta Bowl, sponsored by the U.S. Army, it's going to be a big game here in our presence right now. The assistant coach, or what the co do I call them co coaches? We're oh, coach is fine. Okay. Coach, coach is fine. And uh, there will be Coach Javier Said, the head coach of Roosevelt High School and the Rough Riders of Fable <laughs> Rough Rider program back on track. And Coach Said, you got to be excited now. This is a, uh, just a few more days before the kickoff. Of this oh, big very game. exciting. And, you know, anytime you get a chance to play a game and, and prepare for a game, there's a lot of excitement uh, as a coach. That's what you work for, and you mm -hmm. look forward to that. So, you know, for if I wasn't part of this game, it would be an off-season thing, mm -hmm. and sometimes it you know drags a little bit. But now that I'm part of this game, uh, we've been preparing, going you know hitting mm -hmm. and all that. So mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to the game. It's a lot of fun, and uh, we have some great kids. I want to talk about the kids. Okay. That we get. And be, and before we get to the kids and the mm -hmm. and the player personnel that's going to be on the field here, uh, a very good friend of yours, uh, Coach Eddie Martinez from Wilson. Uh, right. You guys are making up the head coaching <laughs> staff here for the for the city section of our representation, and uh, thus far the uh, chemistry and the interaction with Coach Martinez. Yeah, Coach Prepare. Martinez has a great reputation in the coaching ranks. Uh, somebody that I looked up to as when I started coaching, and now that I got have an opportunity to work with him, it's mm -hmm. he's a great guy. We, we, you know, what's interesting, we have pretty much the same philosophy of why we coach and what football is about, mm -hmm. what it means uh, to be part as it's part of the education process for these mm -hmm. kids. So it's, Eddie's been great for us. Well, we couldn't answer two finer leaders in the field of sports and academics because uh, not only do you coach them on the football field, you must yeah. make sure that they're getting their classwork in as well. That is correct. We, you know, we have something, we implemented something at Roosevelt called Study Hall, mm -hmm. so we do that before we go on the field and all that. Well, you know, one thing about Coach, uh, coach Martinez also is that, you know, we play each other every year. You know, people, we, uh, Roosevelt and Wilson have a rivalry, mm -hmm. and uh, so we play each other every year, but, you know, uh, we also came together and coached this game. And last year, like I said, I, I coached with Coach uh, Hernandez from Garfield. So it's, it's interesting uh, to compete against each other mm -hmm. and then work together. It's, it's, it's going great. Now the U.S. Army has uh, stepped in big time to, in terms of picking up some of the sponsorship of this game because, as you know, any All-Star game is going to cost money. Oh, but the U.S. Army is, is looking now to our community, and we, we acknowledge them and, and salute them for taking the time and effort to bring our kids up to this type of a level of All-Star game. Oh, absolutely. They, you know, the Army has been great. They brought us over to the facility in Encino, I believe, and they showed us around, and they gave, they treated us with, with you know, first class. Mm -hmm. And they, they, they've shown to be a, a great source for our kids and, and, and give back. They really believe in the, you know, in the education of the kids mm -hmm. and, uh, and, you know, and then participate in extracurricular activities like football. Coach, you see right in your hand a clipboard, and that's got to tell me that you have got your roster and your player right personnel here. ready to go. Let's give some names to our viewers oh, so they can gosh. come out and support. You know, there's some great kids. I could just, you know, our quarterback, uh, Stephen Batista from Garfield, mm -hmm. I mean from uh, Wilson, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. He's doing a great job. He's pretty much a leader on the team. Everybody's standing behind him. We have a, a great core receiver starting with uh, Patrick Donahue, okay. the, the city uh, leading receiver in the city. Okay. From Franklin, uh, we have um, uh, Renee Gomez also from Franklin. We have this great mm -hmm. kid from Santee High School. His name is Izelli Stevens. Okay. He's shown to be a, a great athlete. And uh, those are guys we're going to throw the ball to. Mm -hmm. We have two running backs that are really standing out right now. One of them is Jonathan Torres okay. from Roosevelt High Torres. School, who I had the pleasure of coaching yeah. for two years. Mm -hmm. But one of our biggest surprises is a kid named Christian Aguilar from Belmont. Okay who kind of came in under the radar and nobody really knew much about him. But he showed up, and he's shown up in practice. He's doing a great job. So those are the guys. Uh, defensively, we have David Lopez, mm -hmm. the city player of the year and also city champ. Uh, leading our defense as, as a middle linebacker. We have out of Garfield. Right? Out of Garfield. Oh, yeah. oh I would say, believe me, it's nice to mm -hmm. be on his side for <laughs> once. I had faced him for the last two years, and he's just a tough, tough kid. You know, does a great job. Mm -hmm. He, you know, one thing about him, he has great demeanor. He's a yes sir kid, and uh, we have also uh, Jeremy Aguilar out of Roosevelt, mm -hmm. who's just you know he's an animal. He does a great job. Uh, we are pretty much our, our defense lines practically all from. Uh, from Garfield, with the exception of a, a great kid out of Wilson named Nate Gutierrez, okay. who's uh, he's a sack master, wow. does a great job. He's not very big, but he, you know he sacks every, mm -hmm. he sacks pretty much every quarterback he's gone against. Okay. 
Well, we are building up now to uh, that big night, uh, Saturday night for the kickoff, and there uh, should be a nice crowd here. Should be excellent weather conditions, and uh, what are you expecting from your opponent now? Well, you scouted the, uh, the you CIF. Know, you know what? I've heard a little bit about what they have. They have. I think they're going to be bigger and faster than us, but... Uh, you know, traditionally, they have had always had better athletes, but I think one of the things that we can say about city football is we're a lot tougher. Yes. So it's going to be their speed and their athleticism against our toughness. And they're looking to win <laughs> to make things even, right? I think the so, city, you first, know. First game, they right? thought they were going to win last year, and we came back and, and, and beat them. So I think it's going to be a great game. Coach Javier said, always taking time and giving us East, here in East LA Sports Scene the opportunity to catch up and renew and refresh from the Roosevelt Rough Rider perspective Absolutely. talking on football. And we wish you and Coach Martinez. Hey, I just want to say it's a pleasure to be interviewed by you. <laughs> Believe me, I've seen a lot of the, you know, I saw you interview uh, LeBron James. Oh. And I was like, wow. I'm <laughs> thank you. interviewed by the same guy that interviewed LeBron James. Well, thank Thanks you so much. Lot. Thank you, Coach hey, Javier. said. with you. Believe me, I've, well, thank I've you. seen a lot of your work. Oh, thank you so I much. That. Okay, we're going to continue rolling with some more interviews here uh, as we prepare for the second annual Fiesta Bowl sponsored by the U.S. Army. We'll be right back.